Hi, I'm Carl Seibert. Let's take a look and see what adding metadata to a bunch of photos looks like in real life. We're looking at Photo Mechanic here. Chances are pretty good if you're a professional photographer and you work in a files and folders world. Photo Mechanic is what you use for editing your photos and sorting files and that sort of thing. And it's a very powerful tool for metadata. If you don't live in a files and folders world, the chances are pretty good that you work in Lightroom. The process is more or less the same, but the interface is a lot easier to understand in Photo Mechanic. At some point, I'll do videos that are how-tos for specifically how to add photo metadata in both Lightroom and Photo Mechanic. Anyway, let's pretend that our friend Joe, photographer, has this set of pictures and he needs to add metadata to it. So he selects them, and because Joe is an efficient kind of guy, Joe has a template with all his boilerplate metadata already entered. Take a look and see what he's got here. He's put his credit line or byline at the bottom of the caption field. He's filled in his all-important copyright field, including his name and a contact number. He has filled in all of his contact information. And he has filled in some boilerplate rights usage terms, all rights reserved. Now, he may need to change that on an assignment-by-assignment -assignment basis, and that's the field in which you would put the license that you've given to a particular client, but we can do that later. So, Joe just applies his template to all of these photos. Now, we look at a photo. We can see that they're all filled in with everything that's on Joe's template, which is most of the work. That's most of the fields. But let's say Joe wants to say something about these photos as a group. He would do this typically on an assignment, and you, this might be all you need. You might not really need to say anything more about a bunch of pictures in order to find them later when you're looking for them, and that's what it's all about. But we are going to bring up this dialog, and we're going to write a little caption. Now these are photos that I found on the internet. They have no metadata. We don't really know much about them. So we're going to say these photos were found on the internet. They would be happier if they had proper data. data. Okay. Boom. Now, when we look at these photos, we can see that we have a caption, we have a byline, and we have all the boilerplate metadata right there ready to go. Now, if we wanted to, for each individual picture, we could add individual captions specifying the contents of each picture. But we're just going to have to make this up because, of course, the photographers who shot these pictures didn't tell us anything. So, this lady is very concerned that she's not identified. And we can move on to the next picture. And that, basically, is all there is to it. So for your very basic metadata, it takes no work at all because that template could be applied when you import your pictures either into Photo Mechanic or into Lightroom. You can apply the template in bulk with scarcely any effort whatsoever, or you can then apply captions to groups of pictures quickly and easily, and it's not too much trouble to go in picture by picture and identify all the important elements in those pictures so that years from now, you'll know what you've got, and more importantly, you and everyone else will be able to find the photos. That's it. Again, my name is Carl Seibert. I'd love to hear from you. Comment on my blog on carlseibert.com, or reach out on social media on Twitter or LinkedIn, or you can use the contact button on carlseibert.com. Until next time, mind your metadata. Have fun.